Barrientos with Sounds of Autism, and I'm here on Spectrum Talks and Tips with Nade and Taylor from the Opportunity Tree. Hi, guys. How are you today? We're good. Thank you. Doing awesome. well. Thanks, Bridget. You're welcome. Well, Taylor, I know you have a lot to share with us about the Opportunity Tree and what opportunities you have for people in the West Valley, Arizona, as well as globally. And I'm going to go ahead and let you take it over from here. Awesome, thank you. So as Cricket mentioned, my name is Taylor. I'm the Director of Development at the Opportunity Tree. We provide supports to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in Maricopa and Pinal counties. So we have our day program sites in Phoenix, uh, Casa Grande, the town of Maricopa, and in Avondale. We provide supports to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities from the age of 14 and up. So we have our day training program, also known as our LEAF program, Life Enrichment and Fulfillment program, that focuses on socialization, soft skills, community integration, recreational activities, and the arts. We have an employment program where our main focus right now is focused on community integrated employment for our members, so getting them out there, earning a prevailing wage, and working with their peers. We have a youth program which provides supports to youth as well as their families aged 14 to 22 as they age out of the public school system, helping them navigate what life looks like after school, whether that's employment, continuing education, joining our LEAF program or any other wide range of opportunities. We have our creative arts program, which serves as sort of a support program for all of our other opportunities. Uh, focusing on self-expression, fine gross motor skill development, as well as hopefully coming up some employment opportunities for our members. And then we have 22 licensed group homes throughout Pinal and Maricopa counties, and we also provide supports for people in their homes or individualized living arrangements. So this is where the member or the family may own or rent their own home. It's not licensed through the Opportunity Tree, but we can come in and provide supports for those members. That can be a wellness check, just like an hour a day pop in, make sure they're ready to go for their day or it can be 24 hour total care. It's completely dependent upon the needs of the member. Um, so my name is Nade, um, and I am the site program manager over at our Avondale location. I work to help oversee um, three of the major points that Taylor had just mentioned. Um, I oversee our tree fort program, which is our youth program and I also oversee our LEAF program for the adults in the day program, as well as our GSC program in employment. We really work on taking in individualized supports um, to all of, to fulfill all the needs of all our, our members. Um, so we're looking at their specific goals, who they are, what they wanna do, what they wanna work on, and we're really creating those tasks and those opportunities, enrichments, um, to help best support them as they continue on with their life. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Um, I, the reason that we chose Opportunity Tree is I was able to take a tour with Bernadette um, and we were able to see at the beginning stages of the Opportunity Tree. And I actually um, saw that some of the students that you had um, were kids that went to school with my son, Landon. And so, you know, I know those parents. I know that they bet all their resources and, and that gave me a lot of, you know, comfort that this is a great place for um people that are looking for the next step for their child when they're graduating. Um, I highly recommend families um, going out to the Opportunity Tree and meeting with Nade or if, you know, Taylor's in town, uh, you know, being able to come in and, and see these guys because not only do they have a great location in Avondale, but the people that they have surrounding them are committed to what, what you know, the goal and the mission of the, the organization is. And I know that they're, you know, just trying to continuously come up with innovation and ideas to make this a very successful program. So Sounds of Autism wants to get behind the opportunity tree and really push for those families that are looking for that next step, um, you know, to give that that testimonial that this is a great place for those kids to, to go. And I say kids, but they're all adults, right, up until 22 years old. Um, and, and they're, you know, like they said, they're looking for ways to help support your child to get a job. Um, and if you're not interested in having that, um, they can, you know, be a day program for, for your individual as well. And they're getting that 
you know, collaborative um, relationships with other individuals like-minded. Um, so I, I want to just commend both of you guys. I think you're doing a really great job. Taylor, it's been a while since I talked to you and I know now you've promoted and you're in a, a different position and you're doing some ma amazing things all over the world. Um, can you remind us again, not just in Avondale, Arizona, West Valley, Arizona, but where else are you located just so we know and we make sure that people are aware of that? Absolutely. So we have our main site in Phoenix. It's at 32nd Street in Thomas. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. That site has been in operation since the 60s. So we're one of the first service providers in the state of Arizona after the deinstitutionalization process occurred. And that was our main site. We opened our site in Casa Grande, right downtown Casa Grande in the 70s. We opened in the town of Maricopa in 20, at the very end of 2017, and then Avondale is our newest site that was opened uh, officially in June of 2021. And really quick, Cricket, I just wanted to uh, touch on, you mentioned we have a great community around us. The, the team at all of our sites has been really, really wonderful, but I want to really highlight the, um, the community in Avondale. They've welcomed us with open arms. The city council has been phenomenal. The business community has been really, really great. And, um, you know, while we've expanded out into a new site, that was really, really important to us and helped us get kind of off the ground running. So really want to shout out and highlight, you know, the community, the governmental agencies in the city of Avondale have all been wonderful. I'm so glad that you did that because um, if we did not mention uh, Ms. Tina Condi and Vice yeah. Mayor uh, Malone and, you know, and I'm going to say all of the council, city council is great, but those two ladies, um, they were the first ones to introduce your program to us and they had nothing but awesome things to say. And they were just so excited that you chose Avondale to be the, you know, destination uh, for the next program. So, you know, thank you for doing that. And Nide, I'm sure you, you agree with all of that because those ladies are are just amazing and and the whole city council i mean i know um, veronica just announced she's going to run for mayor which you know we're totally endorsing we really want her to you know take that part um over and um you know avondale has a lot of positive things happening so you know good job and uh let's stay in touch guys but you know we're definitely going to be out there sharing this with all of our audience and letting them know and if anybody is interested in getting a hold of you uh, they can either reach out to sounds of autism at sounds of autism.org or if you don't mind just sharing your website, that would be really great. Um, and, and maybe a phone number or whatever you think would be the best avenue to get people uh, into your program. Absolutely. So they can call our main line at 602-956-0400. And the switchboard can transfer you then to any, whichever site that you're looking to receive supports in. Our website is theopportunitytree.org. You can contact us there. All those emails come directly to me and then I will send it out to the appropriate site and make sure that we get the information out to you that you need. That's awesome. And Nide, uh, if anybody comes in and they want to do a tour, what's the best way for them to set that up with you? Absolutely. So they can uh, call the switchboard directly and be transferred to me. Um, they can also reach out via email. Um, and my email is uh, nwylie at theopportunitytree.org. Um, and say that one more time, Nide, just so that um, we made sure they get it. N-W-Y-L-I-E at theopportunitytree.org. Theopportunitytree.org. Thank you. Um, so they can just reach out to me. We do sometimes have people that just walk in um, and drop in. We do try to make the best accommodations for those things. Um, Hopefully we're on site and not just out exploring the community um, when those happen. So appointments are always best, but some people do just drop in and we always make it work. So we love getting tours here. That's awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah. I really appreciate your time. I know that, um, you know, you're very busy and, and I know Ta Taylor, you're, you're, you know, flying around the world right now, I think. So, you know, <laughs> just, uh, you know, thank you guys again for, for being great community partners. And um, we hope that this video will help. And if any families are in need, um, Sounds of Autism has a digital library on YouTube. It's under Sounds of Autism under quotes, because if you go to regular Sounds of Autism, you'll see Landon's animal videos. So just go to Sounds of Autism under quotes. We have a digital library that serves families from prenatal till the end of life. It changes to any language that you need. And this could be another support solution for all of you, um, especially 24 seven when you're sleeping and we're awake or when we're awake and you're sleeping. So, you know, however that goes, but thank you guys. Um, and we will, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.
you.